Hello everyone. It is almost three o'clock. Say hi. Hi. We have, well I have been cleaning. There was piles and piles of boxes in here that I've broken down. Sorted all the puzzles and the snacks. This is from kind of a storage room. It's just how it is right now. There's not much I can do about it, but these are all plastic bags. This is the middle of sweeping and getting things to where they need to be. We need a nice big spot here to start bringing beach stuff up. But Ivan stayed over because he had taken the metro and then ridden his bike from the metro to here. And then, yeah, we had to cook out. He slept over. So we woke up, had some breakfast together, and then the boys and I went on a hunt for my favorite sunscreen and to take a walk around the farmer's market, but it was way too overwhelming. I, I did get them a couple samples, but I just, there's so many people, it was so crowded. They were just standing around in these groups of like 10, 20 people, tons of people blocking everywhere. They'd, they'd block a, a booth and then just when I think they're gonna leave, they just start walking backwards into me. I'm like, turn around, I couldn't deal. So we got out of there and we got some drinks at Starbucks because I couldn't deal with the lines for any of the little farmer's market drink stands. And try, we had some french fries. I don't know if, yeah, I filmed that. We just shared some french fries at the little square that was nice and empty because everybody's at the farmer's market. And then tried to find my sunscreen. But, they were out because they put it on sale. They were supposed to have it. So I got another one and then headed home. And yeah, I've just been cleaning in here ever since. Also starting to organize some trip stuff again. I've got to kind of reset everything. New paper towels. That's my mini toolbox. He's doing, please don't ask. He was doing a puzzle, but he's already abandoned it to ask for more stuff. I'm going to sit. I know I need to sit and paint at some point today, but I'm exhausted <laughs> from all those cleaning paper cuts from breaking down boxes. You can't see that, can you? But the other thing that happened is I was supposed to get a Walmart order, just a small one. It was one day shipping is what they call it, but it always ends up being somebody from another store in the area drops it off, much like we would get our groceries, except I don't have a spot to give a tip or anything. It was supposed to come today. I put the order in like Thursday night and the one day fell on to Saturday. They actually briefly said that it was gonna come Friday, but then that didn't happen, so I'm like, okay, Saturday. While we were eating our fries, it said it was out for delivery and it would be there soon. I never got an alert that anybody was there. We get home, it wasn't there, but it was still in the little window of it's out for delivery. That passes, and then a few minutes later, it says it was delivered, but it wasn't. Nothing was out there, nobody had been there. I didn't get the app update with a photo saying it was there. That just said it was running late, but I did get the text message saying that it had arrived. And then half an hour goes by, I was waiting. I was gonna try and do the help if it didn't come through soon. But then I get a message, we've canceled your order due to a delivery error or delivery issues. I would not be surprised if she delivered it to the completely wrong house and had to cancel it because she didn't have it anymore. So luckily there's a button you can say reorder all. Within a minute of getting that alert, I reordered it all, but now it's supposed to come tomorrow and we'll see if it makes it. It's just so frustrating. I did kind of want that hairbrush. My hairbrush handle is falling off every time I touch it and I have to push back on. But nothing is an emergency. It's mostly stuff that I really need soon, but it keeps being out of stock at our normal Walmart. I don't know. That's my day so far. He's just jumping around everything. I don't know what's going on. He's just spreading stuff out around the house. But I will see you later.
friends. It is one minute till nine. The reason why we're up and he's already in the shower is because I was giving him a haircut and you didn't see because out of all of my videos, 1,294 maybe, I don't know. I, the only one that was reported was a haircut one for him where he's sitting on a stool and he's not wearing a shirt and it's in the bathroom getting a haircut. And apparently you can't film kids in a bathroom, period. But especially not with a shirt on. So I had to edit that video and crop it in real tight. And there was another one with another haircut before somebody even got around to clicking on the report button. I fixed that one too. So we don't film haircuts anymore, but he is in there enjoying our nice bathroom. The one that has been remodeled, not the horrible one where I can't clean the grout anymore because there barely is any grout. That one, which we do not speak of. One day it will be fixed. I'm just dreading not having that bathroom. Anyway. I talked to you when I was about to sit down. I worked on getting some stuff in my shopping cart. Still feeling salty about Walmart not delivering my stuff and canceling my order when it was out for delivery. But that is reordered. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Working on some Amazon stuff. And I ended up ordering dinner. I was like, I should cook. But I really didn't know what. If I look terrible, I fixed my eyeliner several times. Apparently it was really bad allergy. For me, my eyes were just pouring tears. And when I actually looked at my face before doing his haircut, I had almost no eyeliner left and it was all in my cheeks. Like, I looked really amazing when I was talking to the neighbor about their adorable Aussie <laughs> out in the yard <laughs> across the street from us. It's like a big front yard basically that we all share. But I ended up doing a DoorDash to an Italian place. It used to be a little bit more expensive than one that I used to take the boys to in person, a pizza parlor pasta place. But their DoorDash prices have gone up so much. Like the kids meals for like $8 and that's like the starting price. There's been motorcycles all day down our street. And if you like even look at it, they have an upcharge. The adult meals are expensive. I was just like, I can't. They really wanted that, but I went with the place that used to be the more expensive version of that. It's now cheaper because they haven't really raised their prices. But they each got a kid's meal that was about seven-ish dollars. And I think it was like six fifty. And I did a creature on pasta with gnocchi and sauce, and it's so much. I didn't even eat half, maybe like a third. So I let Danny know that there was more. If he was hungry when he got home, but it sounds like they went to rest in town center. Then we normally Danny would order garlic nuts. The meals all come with garlic bread, which we never really ate more than a bite or two because it's just not that great. But the garlic knocks have been rocks. The last three times we've got them, it's been pretty much inedible. They're only like 250, so he keeps trying. I was like, I don't really want to try. But apparently they have amazing Sicilian pizza, like the thick crust Sicilian pizza. So I ordered a $3 slice and the thing was, the size of a styrofoam box it came in. It was like, I would say, I don't even know, like the width of a sheet of notebook paper, that size of a square. It was big <laughs> and thick crust. But I wanted Jax to try it to see if he liked it because that's so cheap. It was totally enough food for one person to eat very well for $3. So that is in the fridge too, and he didn't eat of that, because he did eat ravioli too. He's starting to hit a little bit of the, the teen hunger. <laughs> a little bit, he's still so picky though. But after dinner, I went downstairs and painted, and I made a lot of progress, but I'm still chugging away. I need to do more on the ears. 
need to get the body to look right, but the face is looking good. I could use a few more details and touch-ups, but I got so much detail work in the fur done. Very important, and you wouldn't think there's so much that goes into it, but the dogs that are like one color are the hardest to get all those hairs in there. It's so subtle and it takes so many layers. So you see hints, like I can only imagine like painting a polar bear. I'd have to do black under the white because they have this little, they have black skin under the white fur and you can't just bake it. But I did do an Arctic wolf. Have I ever shown you the Arctic wolf? Let's take a field trip. How are you doing? You doing good? Yeah. Hey. Colder. Colder. Did it get warmer? Okay. Yeah. Give it a minute and let me know if that's not enough. Oh, my lighting found things. Let's take a. There's some recycling that I didn't make it to. Here is our guest room. All right, hold on. It has some boxes that I need to break down, but the rest is all stuff from that bathroom that Sebastian's showering in. I did recently clean it. This used to be piled up with boxes. But here is my Arctic Wolf. It's so dark in here. I'll have to show you in the daylight sometime. It's done in pastels. Oh gosh. Let's go. What? I know, more. I know, I know. I know what I do right there. Oh, this. How's that? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Our water has, it takes forever to get warm. I had to run it for like five minutes for it to not be ice cold. And then it just keeps on creeping up past what you have a tattoo. But yeah, I painted until eight. I made myself stop at eight so I could come up and do his haircut. He wants to keep the, the long part long. Normally I trim it back up to above his ear, but he wanted it long, so I just took maybe a half inch just to get any split ends and freshen it up. Everything else was just shaving down the sides. I can't say what I shave it to because it, it looks more like a two to three, but I used the five setting on his shaver. Like, it goes in there. <laughs> If I used two, he'd be bald. So yeah, I don't know what it genuinely is, but it's this little home clipper. It's, it's not where it's at. So yeah, I guess that was my day. Danny's gonna be gone again tomorrow with Yvonne because I believe they're gonna rent a truck and get a bed. I don't know what that means if they were like buying a bed. And then if they have time since they'll have the truck they might go to his storage unit to try to get some stuff but hopefully they got all the painting finished they were really close and yeah so i won't really see them this weekend it's single parenting mode oh i didn't say but after dinner before i painted i took a walk around the neighborhood with sebastian he wanted to use his bubble gun that really did my allergies in <laughs> But when we got back to our area, as I said, there was an adorable Aussie with a long tail. He said that the breeder had left the tail long because that dog was meant to be a farm dog, but then it, that fell through. So he has an Aussie with a tail, which is a beautiful tail. And her name is Phoebe. And he told me his name at the last moment. At first he was like, you don't need to know my name, but she's Phoebe. And then he's like, oh, by the way, I'm, mm, mm, mm. it might've been Brian. It might have been something else. But you have to tell me your name three times if you're a human. Once is plenty if you're a dog. <laughs> I had to tell Jax's Dean that, like he told me his name and then we were starting to walk to our next destination. I'm like, you need to tell me your name again. I'm so sorry. It takes me like three tries to get it. I do not. Anyway, yeah. That we did that and he was playing frisbee with her off leash in that area and she's so good it's like he would be a nut job running into the street and doing the zoomies and he also probably wouldn't catch a frisbee <laughs> he's like she was crazy and then when she hit you one year old she's an old lady she's lazy all the time I'm like 
Where do I get one of those? <laughs> Our dog is insane. Jax is watching him right now, so I might have to go get him when Sebastian gets out of the shower. Looks like he's gotten used to a night up here when Danny's out, so much so that even when Danny's there, if he's down in the basement, so he just wanders up to hang out with us while we're getting ready. But I've been talking so long, I need to get the stuffed animals he left downstairs, put his iPad back, he was watching shows during his haircut. And just get everybody ready for bed. I'm going to braid, and I think I'm going to dye my bangs blue because now they're starting to look weird. I definitely want to go across tonight and do these because the bun looks really bad. I had to wear a hat today, which was fine because it was a little cool. But yeah, I think I think we're going turquoise. I don't know if I'm gonna put any turquoise in here because I do have hair that sticks out and this is like the bleach stuff. I don't know if I want that turquoise, but I think I might. I managed to go from like medium blue back to no blue, no color at all from a month of washing aggressively <laughs> and no bleach. So this is, the turquoise is even easier for me to get out. So I think I'll be fine. I think I might do it. I'll do it lightly at first and see, but yeah, that's the plan tonight. I also want to eat some popcorn <laughs> and hang out with Jax and yeah. Good night friends. See, tomorrow's probably gonna be more cleaning. I did not film what I was doing today because it was literally just breaking down boxes in a room that didn't really have room for the tripod, but maybe I'll film myself cleaning. I don't know. I'm gonna paint. Maybe we'll do more errands. I don't know. But for now, good night, stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands.